let's discuss one of the most important aspect of standards reading apart from any reporting standard apart from any reporting standard reporting standard i mean uh, suppose it's ias 33 that deals with the uh, earning per share or ifrs 8 that deals with segment reporting so apart from any reporting standard all the standard gender generally talks about these five elements so whenever you read a standard you need you should expect that these are the five things that the standard will communicate to me in respect of a particular transaction now what's the first point the first point is the recognition it will specify the timing when do we need to recognize a particular transaction in the books of accounts so it speaks about the timing of recognition of the particular transaction the second point deals with the measurement okay we confirm that we need to recognize the transaction now the standard will tell us by how much amount we need to recognize that transaction in the books of account that is what we call it as measurement by how much amount the third point it will say the presentation part how to present the impact the impact of the transaction in the financial statement in the financial statement that is what we call it as presentation how do we need to present the impact in the financial statement for example ppe is as shown as ppne gross less accumulated depreciation and impairment and we have the net ppne so this is one type of presentation suggested by ias 16 or by ias 1 so these are the presentation requirements the fourth point is the disclosure so disclosures are provided in the notes to the financial statements which means we need to specify the information that are required to be presented in the notes to the financial statement in respect of that particular transaction like uh, for example for accounts receivable the disclosures are covered by ifrs 7 and 9 so we need to read those areas and understand what's the disclosure that we need to provide in the notes to the financial statements the fifth point is the derecognition which means when do we need to remove any element as a liability from the books of accounts for example if assets do not have any useful life at the end of the uh, accounting period or it is disposed of then in such a case we need not to keep the assets in the books and we need to derecognize it so all of these things whenever you read any standard you need to keep all the five factor in mind that the standard will provide guidance in respect of these five elements of a particular transaction